Hey guys, this is Connie with Happy to Plan Mom. We're doing a plan with me today in my classic happy planner for the week of July the 2nd through July the 8th. And we are going to be doing a 4th of July spread, Independence Day, yay, and all that. I did the, um, the stickers I'm using right here, I did do, I got the artwork off of Google Clip Art. So, and I just made some stickers on my Cricut because I thought, you know, I said that would be cute. I'm also going to use some stickers from the Happy Memory Keeping book. And also possibly the new seasonal sticker book. And I will say it again, go out and buy this book. It's great and buy a lot of them because it is a wonderful sticker book. So we are going to go ahead and get started by laying down the hat, which I thought was so cute. So we're just gonna put this down here at the bottom, which is gonna be kind of like our jumping off point for everything. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get this sped up so we can get on through here. Okay, so we got the hat laid down. Now we are gonna put this Happy Fourth of July sticker, which I thought was so cute. So I'm gonna put it right there in the middle of the, um, the boxes, you know, just to kind of for the whole day. And this is a very cute, these two right here are little um, fireworks hole boxes and I thought they were cute and just brought some color. Of course, you know, there's me with my peeling up, of course. <laughs> and I just thought they bought like a little burst of color to the spread, really cute. And these are some check boxes that I made with the stars. Aren't they adorable? I thought that this turned out really good. This is probably one of my favorite sticker spreads that I've made off Cricut so far. It's just turned out really, really cute. So now I'm gonna get my um, Tombow correction tape and kind of cover up a little bit of notes here because a little bit of, a little bit of it was showing out of the star because I wanted to put the star right there. Cute. And then we're just gonna add some stars around here just to kind of July 4th it up. <laughs> and then some little stars underneath our happy July 4th sticker. Great, great. And then we got some little page flags for our Instagram post for Monday. Mon Mini Mania before the pen. And then there's our little washi to remind us for Washi Wednesday. And also to remind us another one was for, which one was that? For the midweek spread. And then also Throwback and Thankful Thursday, Fun Corner Friday. And I just was really in love with these little page flags. I thought they turned out so, so cute. And then another little checklist for Sunday because a lot of times I do a lot of prep work for next week on Sunday. Now, I am gonna put that star there right now, but I'm gonna end up moving it because I just didn't really like the way it was looking right there. Now we're just kind of looking to see what else we want to do. I decided, because I remembered the one of the last ones I did in my classic was um well about a couple it was the 11th through the 17th of june i did the starfish and i said oh it'd be cute if i had little starfish you know for a checklist on the side so i said oh hey well i can do that with the stars this week so there we go got those lined up on the side over there cute cute and then these fireworks came out of the seasonal sticker book i think i think y'all gosh i wish i really could remember it was either the seasonal or the happy memory keeping um, but it was one of those two I showed you at the beginning. How cute are they? I mean, do they not just add that pop of gold? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna white out this calendar up at the top. And I know it might not look like the prettiest thing, but I wanted a fireworks up there and we are just gonna put it up there like that. And I, know, I think what I should have done was put like a white piece of paper up there and then put the box over it like that. But you know, lesson learned. It'll be all right. Like I said, what do I always say? It's my planner and it will be okay. All I have to do is turn the page and it's gone for next week. <laughs> so we had to clip out a little bit to be able to, so we wouldn't have any trouble putting on the disc. There we go, pull that up. And we're gonna put a star right there, cute. Cause you know, we wanna have room to write. That, you know, cause that is the thing. 
Now this came out of the happy memory keeping, I do believe. They're just little, I, I mean, I just use them as headers because sometimes the boxes, when I make them on the, you know, on my Cricut, they don't quite line up exactly the way they should. So we just use those two little headers right there just to kind of make it a little bit more cohesive looking. And we are gonna put it back on our disc here. And we, you see I ran into a little bit of trouble. So I forgot that one of my, my little sticker kind of messed up. So I'm just gonna trim it a little bit, just enough just to get it on the stickers. Cause I really don't, I don't take my pages out, you know, a whole lot, just except when I'm doing my plan with these. So just gonna trim it enough to where it can get on the disc. And got a little bit of one down here, but we were able to get that one on there. So y'all, I think this turned out great. Like I said, I wish I wouldn't have used the white out at the top. Next time I'll just put a piece of white paper up there and I think it will look a lot better. But anyway, I'm happy with it. Happy 4th of July for everybody. I hope you have a great one. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.